take a break for some stimulating conversation with author and speaker Ed Dickerson at Grounds for Belief Virtual Cafe. And now, here's Ed. Well, hi, and welcome once again to the Grounds for Belief Virtual Cafe. You know, for at least the last 20 years or so, Christians in North America have been in a quiet uproar about worship styles. You know, the very fact that we speak of styles of worship tells me we're not talking about worship at all. How dare I say that? Simple. You know, in the 1970s, a lot of stylish people wore bell-bottom trousers and leisure suits. That was the style, and quaint as it appears today, it was not all that remarkable at the time because many people wore them. Now, the first person to wear a leisure suit may have been expressing himself, may have been presenting the real him to the world. The next 20 million or so were just trying to be stylish. They took a look at the wearers of leisure suits and thought, that's what it looks like to be up to date. Of course, a few years later, leisure suits were tray passe, or in today's language, so yesterday. Styles are like that. They come, and they go, often very quickly. And they're how we want the world to see us. Worship, true worship, is authentic, is real, and is personal. It is not how we want the world to see us. In church, we call that hypocrisy. It should not be about how we want God to see us, because he sees us as we are, whether we want him to or not. Worship should be the response of who I am to who God is and what he does. This will vary from person to person, from time to time, and from place to place. So here's the problem about determining which types of worship are appropriate. If worship is the authentic response of who I am to who God is and what he does, then what makes us think we can tell someone else how to worship? Do you think you know who they are better than they do? Even God doesn't tell people that without their permission. And the minute anyone begins to think, will they, the other people around me, think that I'm worshiping, we've made the first step toward hypocrisy because instead of worshiping God, our attention is on the opinions of others. For long, we're not worshiping at all, but playing to the crowd. Concern with worship styles becomes the concern with acting styles. While it may be true that we're all hypocrites and that the place for hypocrites is the church, hypocrites surely need to be saved. The church should not be a place that encourages hypocrisy. People go to the hospital to get well, not to have their disease condoned. But all too often it is because we're too concerned with worship styles instead of worship. I think that's why so often those who have left the church object not to Christianity, but to Christians. Our behavior has undermined their grounds for belief. Well, hope to see you next time. Join us again soon at the Grounds for Belief Virtual Cafe.